So, praise God. Good evening uh, and welcome to um, our Bible study this on Tuesday night. Um, we're doing this uh, a study on the Word of God, especially in during this um, Easter and Good Friday period. So um, I know last week we, we discussed and we saw Isaiah chapter 53, the Word of God being exposed so clear about how Jesus is going to suffer for his people. Uh, so that was a picture of why um, Jesus had to die and what he had to go through in life and all that. So today we're going to do two different things. We're going to look at two particular uh, angles. So if you have questions, uh, if you have any doubts, please put them on the live chat. Happy to read and discuss. Uh, I also have to say that, you know, um, uh, it's the, the weather is not the best in Bangalore. So it's I can see that the, the sounds of rain and, you know, all that. So I'm expecting power cuts. I'm expecting, you know, fluctuations to happen. So just in case, uh, for some reason, the power goes. I have power backup, but in case that also fails, and you know, we have to, uh, it just goes off. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes, uh, and we'll try to bring things back on. If not, uh, I will, I will confirm on the chat or on the church WhatsApp group um, that we can't. Um, all right, so we're going to go through the Word of God today, and I want to show you um, two places in the Bible. We're going to see how Jesus suffered um, and why he suffered. So if you would turn to me in the book of Genesis chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22. Adi Agamam. Irvati Renda Madhigaram. Genesis chapter 22. If you can open your Bibles with me. So this is a story where... Um, God has just now given Abraham his his only begotten, his, his only first son. So Abraham is an old man, 100 years old. Sarah is old, 99 years old. And God gives him um, and God blesses with Abraham with a son called Isaac. And in Genesis 22, we know this is a very wonderful chapter of how God tests Abraham's faith. Um, uh, God says, Abraham, you take your son, all right? You come up the mountain and give him as an offering to me. And so the Bible says, verse, Genesis 22, verse 3, the next morning, Abraham got up early. He took his donkey. He took his servants. He took Isaac. He took wood. Um... He took all that he needed and he didn't ask God a question. He didn't even say, God, why? Why are you asking me to do this? He said, he didn't say, God, after so many years, you gave me one son. But God, how am I going to go? God, why do we need my son back? God asked him to give him as a sacrifice. And, and Abraham didn't question. He went. And then uh, they go up the mountain. We know the story. Uh, Isaac is a young boy now. Um, and, you know. Abraham says, let's carry everything. Uh, all the servants, you stay back. You don't have to come. Me and Isaac are going to go up and we'll come back together. That's what Abraham says. And so um, if you look at verse 6 and 7, Isaac turned to Abraham and asked, Father, we have the fire, we have the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Where is the sheep? God, how, where is where's the offering? And Abraham could have said very easily, son, you are the offering. But he didn't say it. He said in verse 8, God will himself will provide. God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering. And so they walked. And so when they went up, the Bible says Isaac on the altar. He put fire. He tied Isaac. He tied him up. And now he's going to give him up as an offering. And now he's trying to burn or rather he's trying to uh he's gonna he's gonna kill his only son that god has given him and here it is if you look in the verse the bible says he tied him up he took his hand and 
Remember this, Isaac is not a young boy. Many scholars believe that Vedangal Padichangal father away, he could he could run away from that situation. He's a strong man. But he did not ask a question. No, he never asked God, my father, why me? He said, you know what you're doing. So he went and they put him up and he was going to die. And, and the Bible says Abraham took the knife and he was about to hit him and just about to kill him. At that moment, verse 11, at that moment, the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven. Abraham Abraham, Abraham said, here I am. And verse 12 says, don't lay a hand on the boy. Do not hurt him in any way. For now I know that you truly fear God. You have not withheld me, even from me, your only son. Your, you have not withheld from me, even your son, your only son. Verse 13, then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. So he took the ram, he sacrificed it as a burnt offering in the place of his son. And verse 14, Abraham named the place Yahweh Yaira, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, people still use that name as a proverb. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Praise God. So on that day, Abraham was about to kill his only son. See, remember the promise of God. God said, Abraham, I'm going to make you so great that you will have so many descendants, like the number of stars in the sky or the sand. You can't count your descendants, Abraham. That many I will give you. Because he didn't shake in his faith. Abraham said, God said, I'm going to give Abraham a child. And God gave him only one son. One son. When God promised him the stars of the sky, the sands of the sea, he just got one son. Okay? And here he is, and God, he's going, he's going to, he's going to kill, he's going to put that to the, to, to put it, kill his son. And at that moment, the Bible says, God stopped his hand. God spoke from heaven and stopped his hand. He said, Abraham, Abraham, don't kill. And now I know you fear God. You know, this happened about four thousand years before Jesus Christ. 2,000 years before, da before uh, David could come. Almost 4,000 years, people say. And think about it. 4,000 years later, a very similar, almost the same kind of a picture happened. Jesus Christ was led up a hill. He carried the wood. Like Isaac, he walked up that. He didn't ask his, his father a question. Think about it. Just think about the picture. Here's Isaac, 35 years old, approximately. Isaac, not one question did Isaac ask. He didn't push. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't do anything. The same thing with Jesus Christ. He walked up that hill. He didn't ask any question. He says, even to a point where God forsook him. He says, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me, God? And God did not speak. And the hand of God came down and killed Jesus Christ. This time the hand did not stop. This time God did not call from heaven and say, stop, stop. Under Nikavile, under Sittam, God's plan. 
You see, in verse 8, Abraham says, God himself will provide. And then in verse 14, Abraham says, Jehovah Jireh. Most people today, and I know we all do that. We all say, he's Jehovah Jireh or Jehovah Yireh. See, the, the, the very meaning of that is God has provided for the sins of his people. God has provided for his people, his own people. God is making a way. It is not that when you have a need and when you're looking for a problem and you have a problem and you're looking for help and you say, God, I know you will provide. Yes, he is a Jehovah Jireh. Yes, he can provide. But nowhere in the Bible uh, after this point, nowhere did like Paul or Peter or anybody in the New Testament say, oh, he's Jehovah Jireh. He will take care of me. No, he, they said God will take care of my needs according to his riches and glory. It is because God in his in his plan, he said, Abraham, today you are going to give your son. But I will provide one day. And I was reading a book um, called Eternity in Their Hearts, a beautiful book. Um, one of our pastors in our fellowship, Pastor Tom Payne, uh, he suggested that book. And I was reading that. And he said, that author was making a case to say, Exactly the same, it could be. It's not, we don't know, it's just estimating. But it the same mountain on which Abraham gave his son Isaac, was giving his son, it could be the same mountain, the same hill where Jesus was put on the cross. The Bible says in the region of Moriah, Moriah Ingrid and the Yadatil were Jesus took the cross and he, he took the wood. He went like the lamb. He went like Isaac. Not asking a question. And that day the, the hand of God did not stop. God's hand of justice came down. God punished your sin, punished my sin on Jesus Christ. And it was fulfilled. Jesus says, it is finished. It is finished. What Abraham could not do 3,000, 4,000 years ago, I have done now. I have paid for the sins of people. In general, I've paid it off. It's over. No more debt. We can't stand like as though we owe God something. We, our sin has been paid. God has forgiven us. And we have life in Jesus Christ. So that is a picture. Remember this. So this, is, this plays out so importantly in the New Testament. It, it is just the, the New Testament is a shadow, is a picture of the Old Testament. And the Old Testament is just very... Uh, it happens true in the New Testament. So, God has fulfilled his promise where he says, I myself will provide and God has answered his people. Sin, I will provide. When they need a savior, I will provide. And God provided. You know, um, if you anyone has seen the movie... Um, Asatoma Sat Gamaya or uh, the next movie was Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Uh, it's, it's a Tamil movie. I mean, it's there in other languages. But in those movies, they make a statement and he's quoting um, the Vedas, the Hindu Vedas. And on the Vedangalile, there's a powerful statement he says, and I, I don't know the exact Sanskrit words, but I know the meaning. I remember that the meaning what he said. He said, the Hindu Vedas or some man in, 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 in Hindu uh, literature, he said, man is so sinful. Human beings are so sinful. He cannot save himself. 
A man, another man cannot save another man because everybody is so sinful. He says, and then they say, he says this, Rakta Pradarshana Pava Vimoshana. Rakta Pradarshana Pava Vimoshana. Unless blood is spilled, Ratta Pradarshana, Ungade Rattam Sindhika Padavilenta. If your blood is not spilled, your sins are not forgiven. Only when blood is spilt will sins be forgiven. And, and he also says, who can, who can shed this blood? It is only the one who has the holy blood. Parishutta Rattate Sindhanam. Parishutta Rattate Anga Pradarshan Sayanam. Only the holy blood should be spilt. And the man says, Vedas say, unless God, unless God himself will come and die, Man cannot be saved. Man cannot be saved unless God Himself dies for His people. Unless holy blood is spilt for His people, man can cannot be saved. And that is the beauty of, of the gospel. Christian Christianity, the beauty of the message of Good Friday. See, Good Friday, we all say, Oh, why do you call it Good Friday? You know, some of you may have heard this. Why do you call it Good Friday? When you say something is good, it's usually a bad person receiving something good. Let's say, for example, I'm a bad man. I'm a criminal. Now we're a kaidi, now a kutravali. I'm going to get punishment, for example, or I'm supposed to pay a fine somewhere. And the judge comes and says, you don't have to pay the fine. You can go. That's a good thing. I was supposed to do something. I had to bear punishment and I didn't. It was, became a good Friday. It became a good thing for me. But Good Friday, we call it Good Friday. Technically, it should be bad Friday because the most holiest person, the most purest, righteous person, who did not make a single mistake. The Bible says in Hebrews, he was tempted just like us. But he never sinned. And he, Jesus Christ, the purest man, who is holy and good, was punished. It is a bad Friday. It is supposed to be a bad Friday. But you know why we call it good? Because Because of what Jesus did on the cross that day. You and I have life. Our debt is paid. It is finished. I don't care what kind of a lifestyle you had. I don't know what you did, whether you, you drank or you, you smoked cigarettes or drugs or you... Jesus Christ bore it all on the cross. So I want to look. Secondly, if you have your Bibles. Now... We may have studied this as a church um, before when we were doing the whole series on the communion and how important it is to have the communion. So this chapter is the first Passover festival, Mudal Pascha Pandigai. And so what this chapter says is, think about the picture. Egypt is there attack and just killing Israel. Israel wants to go out. Israel, they say, with the Valley of Arvindu, Mose, Kadam Saligran, Pharaoh, Munbudag, and Nikran, in Janangal Anupe, Andavar Nari, Arpudangal, and Arpudangal Segrar. Many miracles happen. And after that, God says, then uh, the, that one night, God says, I am going to kill the firstborn son, the firstborn male in every family. And Israel, uh, and that night, God says, Moses, verse 3. God tells Moses, announce to the whole community of Israel, on the 10th day of this month, each family must choose a lamb or a young goat for a sacrifice. One animal for each household. If a family is too small to eat a whole animal, let them share with another family in the neighborhood. Divide the animal according to the size with no defects. 
ஒரு குற்றம் இல்லாத ஒரு பலவீனம் இல்லாத ஒரு ஸ்ட்ராங் ஹெல்த்தி போஷிப்பு இருக்கிற ஒரு ஒரு ஆட்டுக்குட்டி நான் சொல்கிறார் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் திஸ் ஏ இன் வர்ஸ் செவன் தே ஆர் டு டேக் சம் ஆஃப் த பிளட் அண்ட் ஸ்மியர் இட் அந்த சைட்ஸ் அந்த டாப் ஆஃப் த டோ ஃப்ரேம்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஹவுஸ் வேர் த ஈத் ஆனிமல் ரைட் ஸோ கால்ஸ் இஸ் ஒன்ஸ் யூ கியூ அந்த அந்த ஆட்டுக்குட்டியை நீங்கள் அடித்த பிறகு அந்த ஆட்டுக்குட்டியை வருகிற ரத்தத்தை உங்கள் வாசல்களை நீங்கள் போட வேண்டும் புட் இட் ஆன் யோர் டோர் போஸ்ட் தி என்ட்ரன்ஸ் ஆஃப் யோர் டோர் ஜஸ்ட் புட் இட் புத் தட் பிளட் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் ஹீ சேஸ் இன் இன் வேர்ஸ் டுவெல்வ் ஆன் வேர்ஸ் ஆன் தேட் நைட் ஐ வில் பாஸ் த்ரூ த லேண்ட் ஆஃப் ஈஜிப்ட் and strike down every first born son and first born male animal in the land of egypt i will execute judgment against all the gods of egypt for i am the lord was 13 very important but the blood on your door post will serve as a sign marking the houses where you are staying when i see the blood i will pass over you this plague of death will not touch you when i strike the land of egypt under soligara naan varigiren and na iruvu velai naan varigiren i will come and i am going to kill i am going to over veetil irukka modal aan kolendeyum aan aattu kuttiyaga irukkalam illa maattugal irukkalam endha kaaramaga irundhalum naan modalaga naan saagadikku pogiren ana naan anga kadandu sellum bodhu when i pass your house if i see the blood on the door post ungale vaasalgalil anga ratham irundhal அப்போ நான் அதை அந்த வீட்டை நான் தொடாதபடி அடுத்த வீட்டை நான் கடந்து செல்வேன் நான் ஒரு வீடை விட்டு இன்னொரு வீடை நான் கடந்து செல்வேன் ஆண்டு சொல்கிறார் எந்தெந்த வீட்டில் எந்தெந்த வீட்டில் அண்ட் அண்ட் ஹவு ஜீசஸ் டைட் திங்க் அபவுட் வேர்ஸ் ஃபைவ் தட் ஷீப் ஓ கோட் ஷுட் நாட் ஹாவ் எனி டிஃபெக்ட்ஸ் ஒரு கொழுப்பம் இல்லாதபடி ஒரு பலவீனம் இல்லாதபடி ஒரு குறை இல்லாதபடி அந்த ஒரு ஆட்டு கூட இருக்க வேண்டும் தேவ ஆட்டு குட்டி எதுக்கு நாம் கூப்பிடுறோம் the same thing the same night when they were eating and they were hurry kadandu selavenum kadandu selavenum solli and the vegathile saapidum bodude and they were putting the blood on the house it's a picture of us beloved when we have if we have the blood if we are covered by the blood yesu in rathathinal nam meedkapattirundal yesu in ratham nammudeya vaalkai mel poosikapattirundal adu nammukku podum but endha காரத் நம் பயப்பட வேணாம் ஏனென்றால் அந்த நாள் தேவம் எப்போ ஜனங்களை நியாயத்திற்கு போறாங்களோ வென் காட் இஸ் கோ ஜட்ஜ் த வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் ஹீஸ் கோ சே யூ பீப்புள் கோ டு ஹெல் அண்ட் யூ பீப்புள் கம் இன் டு மை ஹவுஸ் நீங்கள் நரகருக்கு போறீங்க நீங்கள் இந்த ஜனங்கள் நியாசத்தில் பிரவேசிக்க போறாங்க அந்த ரெண்டு கூட்டத்துக்கு வித்தியாசம் பார்க்கும் பொழுது ஒரு ஆட்டுக்குட்டியோட ரத்தம் தட் பிளட் ஆஃப் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் கவர்ஸ் திஸ் குரூப் are you in that group tonight are you in that group have you believed neenga yesu vishwasa thakkiringla is the blood of jesus washing you cleansing you that's why we sing that song have you been to jesus for the cleansing flood are you washed in the blood of the lamb vallamai unde unde arpudha vallamai aattu kutti athinal this is what we're talking about idu than the குறையிலும் குற்றம் இல்லாத ஆட்டு குட்டியிட ரத்தம் பிரியமானவர்களே அதே போல புதிய ஏற்பாட்டில் இயேசு சொல்கிறார் லூக்கும் இருபத்தி ரெண்டாம் அதிகாரத்தில் லூக் சாப்டர் டுவெண்டி டூ ஜஸ்ட் லைக் தட் பஸ்கா பண்டிகை அந்த பஸ்கா பண்டிகை போல ஜஸ்ட் லைக் தட் பாஸ் ஓவர் எக்ஸிடிஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் ஜீசஸ் they did that over a varadam on the pasca sira ninga nambringle illayo indha naatlum kuda seigranga they doing it today right now just rendu naal munadi nama news la paatham da israel deshathile pasca pandigai online pannikondirukanga they having an online 
பாசோவர் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் பிகாஸ் இந்த கொரோனா வைரஸ் நிமித்தமாக தே கான் ஒரு ஒரு வீட்டுக்கு போக முடியாது டில் டுடே மூணு அஞ்சாறு வருடமாக செஞ்சுக்கிற ஒரு காரம் பிரியமாக நான் யூஸ் திங்க் அபவுட் திஸ் ஏசு அங்கே இருக்கிறார் அந்த நாள் அவர் சாக போகிறார் தகுண புடம் வந்து கிராஸ் சிலுவில் போட போகிறாங்க ஏசுவை மறதலுக்கு போகிறாங்க அந்த நேரம் வருகிறது ஏசு தெரியும் ஜீசஸ் நோஸ் த டைம் ஹேஸ் கம் அண்ட் ஸோ ஹி கோஸ் டு திஸ் ஹவுஸ் டியூரிங் த பாஸ் ஓவர் டைம் அந்த பஸ்கா பண்டிகை வரும் பொழுது அங்கே அப்பத்தை செய்கிறாங்க அங்கே திராட்சரசம் இருக்கிறது அப்போ ஏசு சொல்கிறார் when the when the bread is there and the wine is there jesus looks at that and he says this is my body broken for you idu enude shariram unukaga odikapattagira vas shariram this is my blood the blood of the new covenant or pudhiya yerpaad pudhiya odanbadikeyude or ratham இதை சாதாரணமான திராட்சரசம் கிடையாது என்னுடைய உன்னுடைய ரத் நான் உனக்காக சிந்தின ரத்தம் அது அதை எடுத்து நீங்க குடிங்க சாப்பிடுங்க சி அது அதே நாள் அதே நேரம் அதே பண்டிகை நேரத்துல அந்த நாள் ஆட்டுக்குட்டியை சாவடிச்சாங்க அந்த ரத்தத்தை பூசினாங்க இந்த நாள் இயேசுவை சாவடிக்க போகிறாங்க தே கொண்ட கில் ஜீசஸ் தட் டே தே கில் அ லேம் புத் த பிளட் ஆன் த டோ போஸ்ட் தே ப்ரோக் பிரெட் அண்ட் ஏட் at the same way jesus christ says he says this is my body this is my blood i am going to die for you i am going to give my life for you and so that is why the communion nam rabojanam seigrom communion is so important that is why we don't do it so often namadi aikathile namada fellowship la nam adikadi seya mudiyadhu we don't do it because paul soligrar ad nam நிறைய முறை செஞ்சுட்டு அது ஒரு மாதிரி சாதாரணமாக ஆகிறது பிகம்ஸ் டூ கேஷுவல் எதுவும் நம்மளை சொந்த இஷ்ட பிரகாரமாக நம்ம செய்கிறோம் ஓ வார வாரம் செய்கிறோம் இல்லை வாரம் மாதத்துக்கு முதல் ஞாயிற்றுக்கிழமை செய்கிறோம் வி டோன்ட் டூ கம்யூனியன் எவ்ரி வீக் ஆர் எவ்ரி மந்த் அண்ட் தி ஓன்லி ரீசன் வி டோன்ட் டூ தேட் இஸ் பிகாஸ் இட் பிகம்ஸ் டூ கேஷுவல் பீப்புள் டோன்ட் ட்ரீட் இட் வித் ஆனர் அண்ட் 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 ரெஸ்பெக்ட் இட் இஸ் டியூ தட் when you drink that cup and you eat that bread it's not something sweet and something nice to eat in church it is not something to play around with you are committing yourself you are saying god under your new covenant that god who did not who spared isaac and but did not spare your own son sundu kumara ninga vidavillai ana avana enukkaga saagadichinga you bore the judgment of my sin this is too good your bread your blood god i don't deserve it and you drink and you eat that cup you eat that bread and you drink that cup with so much respect with so much honor to god you worship him and you say god it is an act of worship beloved it is an act of saying thank you jesus i don't deserve the most pure god of heaven and earth will die for me on the cross but you did and so i will eat that bread and drink that wine with reverence ilendral ore ore maryadayoda ore adu ore ganathoda adu kudukka vendiya adu and ore madipai koduthittu an adu saapida venilla naan kudippen see everything we do is not a joke why we get baptized why we believe why we confess nam edukaga nyanasthanam edikrom illendra edukaga nam arikettu nam paavangale arikettu nam manam thirumbigrom edukaga raabojana aaradhanegal seigrom why do we do each one of these things is biblical it is important in the word of god deva vasanathile adukku or mukkiyana sthalangal irukku adukaga dhaan nam seigrom ulagathin pole வாரம் மாசம் முழுவதும் சபைக்கு வராதபடி கடைசியில் ஒரு நாள் மட்டும் அந்த ஆராபோஜன் ஆராதகம் மற்றும் வருகிறார்கள் அவங்களுக்கு மற்றும் கொடுக்க தேவையில்லை யூ ஹாவ் டு சிட் இன் தட் பிரெட் அண்ட் தட் வைன் இஸ் இஸ் பிரிங்கிங் க்ளோரி டு காட் 
You're remembering Jesus saying, thank you that you died for me. Think about that. And when the blood is on you, when the blood, when you are saved by Jesus Christ, when you are saved by the blood, and the day of judgment, you stand, you will stand with everybody, beloved. You and I will stand with every single human being. Oh, we will stand with the, the biggest names and the biggest stars and celebrities and movie actors and sports people and politicians. And everybody will stand uh, from the person who cleans the roads to the cleans the toilets or the person working mining jobs uh, or to the king of countries. Uh, oh, all the way from Nebuchadnezzar and Solomon and every one of these people. Of all the kings that have ruled India, of all the kings that have ruled the world, of every army, every soldier, every person who, uh, who, who crossed the seas and every missionary, and everybody will stand before Jesus Christ. Everybody. From the young to the old, every, every little person. The world will say you are useless, but we will all stand together. And the only difference doesn't matter whether you're a king or doesn't matter if you're a poor person. It doesn't matter if you hold hundreds of companies or you, even if you're Jeff Bezos, I don't care. Or Bill Gates, who, the richest people on the earth. Or it could just be somebody that the world doesn't even know. Or it could be somebody dying with cancer in a, in a room, bedridden. But they believe in Christ. They have the blood. And that blood is enough. Because, because for eternity, God is going to separate the two. God is going to separate two people. It doesn't matter whether rich or poor. It doesn't matter. God doesn't separate on status or, or money or how much you gave or what do you do or how. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It is only do you, are you covered by the blood? Are you covered by the blood of Jesus? And the blood of Christ separates. These people will go to hell. And these people will come to and, and enjoy with God and live with God forever and evermore. How beautiful that is. And, the, and God says, if you believe, if you come to me, I will give you that. So, two things, three things we need to know. Very important things about the communion, not the communion, uh, about the whole Good Friday. We started from Isaiah 53. It pleased God to crush his son. He was bruised for our sins and our iniquities. Nama sins at Tavarilik, Nama, Devi Virodama in the Kardinalik, Andavar, Aung, Adyesue, Adicha. By his stripes we are healed. He was crushed for our sins. Jesus died, beloved. But more than that, why is the cross so beautiful? Why is Christianity to be believed? People say, Jesus never rose from the dead. Yesu in the relay. Or people say it was not Jesus who died. Somebody else died on that cross. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't care what people say. What God promised 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, what God did and what he promised 700 years before Jesus through Isaiah and said, this is how my, my son is going to suffer. All those prophecies, Munadi sends a cardinal yellam on the Neratale, Yesu Silvi Yerimbode there. It came up. It was finished. And the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, I want to close with this one verse. In the Galatians chapter 6, verse 14. Galatians chapter 6, verse 14. As for me, Galatians 6, 6 14. Galatiyar Ara Madhigaram Padinala Masanam. Amazing verse. As for me, Paul says, I will never boast about anything except the cross of Jesus Christ. Because of that cross, my interest in the world has been crucified, and the world interests in me has also died. In another translation, it says, Because of the cross of Jesus, 
The world is dead to me and I am dead to the world. Is that you tonight? Is that you? Because of the cross, because of what Jesus Christ, Jesus because of what he has done, the most beautiful thing nobody else could do. Romans 5 verse 8 says, While we were yet sinners, and here Paul says, Because of that cross, the world is dead to me. I don't care about the world anymore. The world, whatever it gives me, the wealth, the honor, the pleasure, the prestige, the name, the fame, the joy, the money, I don't need it. It's dead to me. It's dead. I don't need it anymore. And because of that cross, I am dead to the world. I am not like the world. The world will say I am dead and they will not even come close to me. They will, they will run away from me because I'm dead to them. I'm alive in Christ. And that is the most beautiful thing about ourselves. Is that you tonight? Because of the cross, are you dead to the world? Is your world dead to you? Or does it fascinate you? Does it? Oh, you love the world. Oh, you love the pleasures. You love the joys of this world. So much you love it that you will give up Christ. That, that he who died on the cross, you will throw him away and you will enjoy the world. Friendships, relationships, pleasures of, of that will just pass away like that. Is that more important? Or the one who gave his life for you? The true living son of God. Praise God. So that finishes our, our discussion on um, the whole Good Friday concept and how we're studying that. Uh, next, we will tomorrow, don't forget, tomorrow evening we have service at 6, sorry, 7.15 service, prayer at 6.30 on this channel. So please like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button. Just be aware, okay, be ready for that. We're going we're gonna to have service tomorrow. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we will let you know. Uh, we want to do more Bible studies like this. I will try to let you know. Uh, we want to do on the concept of the resurrection, the Easter, Easter Sunday. And, um, you know, we, we're going to try as much as possible. So be ready about that. Uh, be excited. Pr keep praying. Keep believing God. Trust God. Andre Viswasinger. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for joining us on this live stream. God bless you. Have a good night.